How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Welcome back to San Francisco. And we're going to be saying a goodbye to San Francisco for the time being because we need to immediately get up to Corpus Christi. We're going to be making some changes to this place. We want to bring some bricks into Corpus Christi. We have some good production going on down here. We have a, a beautiful, brilliant. I tried to merge both of those words together. It did not work. We have a beautifully brilliant train line that is making us so much money bringing uh, oil sand down towards San Francisco. It's also giving us the ability to make a bunch of bricks, which we can then turn into more stuff. So my thinking is that I'm going to just disconnect this entire road for a second. And I'm going to come in here and basically build a beautiful big cargo train station. And it's going to be right here. Now, admittedly, this is going to be getting rid of some buildings and this is expensive, but I can afford to do this because of the amount of money that the train line that's going to come through here is making me. So that's basically where it's going to live. Um, what we can do is bring a road sort of across here. And I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like that as a road. I don't know if that's a good layout, but I think we're going to go just, just go with that. And that'll be fine. Uh, this road is... I mean, it's probably going to have to connect here, isn't it? So we'll bring this road sort of down. And that'll be just sort of the way into the into the city, I guess. Uh, what would happen if I did this? That's not what I'm looking for. So instead, we'll bring this kind of over to here. And we'll bring this sort of up to here. And that seems fine. You can still get in there. It's not ideal, but it's it's it, it will do the job. And that's kind of all I, I really need it to do. We'll actually go ahead and upgrade this road to just be something a bit nicer so that traffic can get in and out that little bit quicker. And the way I kind of see this working is that the train is going to come out of here somewhere. So I want to say we want to get some tracks. We do have the high speed ones. I think we will use them for this. We, you know, we don't have high speed rail, but we're going to just go like this essentially. So straight out of there. It's already kind of elevating in a really nasty looking way. So we'll just sort of go something like this for now. So, ooh, I don't like that. I do not like that at all. I I want this to be a really smooth transition out of here if it's going to let me do it, which I'm really hoping it will. So if I just keep this kind of moving that way, that looks to be about the right spot there. That looks to be as smooth as I'm going to get. Yeah, a little bit of a bump, but honestly, not the end of the world. Uh, so this is just going to continue straight up and somehow it's going to connect into uh, Corpus Christi. So this is this is my idea. Essentially, we're just going to run a train straight up here and, and hope for the best. I might also want to configure this guy and replace these tracks with high speed tracks because, again, we're starting the process of modernizing everything, which is going to take forever. This is kind of why I haven't built the double tracks everywhere right now. Because building double tracks everywhere is, it's a nightmare. It really is. It's a, it is an absolute nightmare. So I'm kind of holding off and doing that. We'll also get some extra platform length in here because that's going to help us out. And it makes me wonder, am I going to be able to get a train nicely across this road? I actually can, which is very surprising. All right. So that's going to come out to there. This guy, this is going to be a very, very sharp turn for a train. This is going to be... Uh, not exactly the most efficient, but we'll we'll allow it. It's going to be coming into a station anyway, so it's it is what it is. As for the rest of this, I could come off of here pretty much anywhere. But I think what I'm going to do is sort of come out here. And I don't know if I want to run parallel or not. I don't think I do. I don't think there's any need to run parallel. So I think what we do is just come out at a, at a bit of an angle. We'll come out sort of down by this this forest so out like this it's a decent little bit of speed this is just going to come straight out of here so we have that 186 the entire way through so the trains can eventually get up some pretty decent speeds just not for a while uh this guy is going to come up to about here and that's going to be our curve that's going to be our curve again it slows down quite a bit but honestly that's how we're going to get in there that's how that's going to work so the train comes up into corpus christi back down into des moines we are going to dump most of the construction material into the town, I would imagine. But at the very, what was this? That was, that's a terminal apparently. Okay. Um, at the very least, 
we can take some of it down to down to Norfolk. So we can let this we can let this all run again because you know not the end of the world that we got rid of nothing. And where in here happens to want the construction material? Right about there. Interesting. Okay. Well, what's the what's the demand right now? Forty five. Okay. Well, this uh, this might work. This might not, but we'll find out. We'll do two platforms in this guy. We'll go ahead and put a little a little truck stop in here. Maybe maybe put it on the other side so that the the road behaves a little bit nicer. So something like this, I think, could be kind of interesting. And then what we do is bring the uh, construction materials down in here. So we'll get a truck uh, drop off point, and I guess we'll go for here. And we'll set ourselves up a few lines. So we're going to go... I mean, it's going to start down here, I guess. It's going to go to there. That should be all right. Loops around kind of nicely, which I'm completely fine with. And I guess we'll call this a Norfolk line. Although it's kind of not. So road cargo... Eh, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll call it a Norfolk line. And it's going to be just brick delivery is what we'll go for. And we'll make it uh, that very dark green color. It's not the nicest color, but it's it's good enough. And that's really all we need right there. The next thing I need to do is go to train cargo. And I need to say that after Everett South, this guy needs to then come into Corpus Christi. And this is the tricky part. So this in, in Everett South. Hold on a minute. We need to do this right. Uh, so Everett South, you are unloading this. You are loading up on bricks. In Corpus Christi, you are only unloading bricks and then in Everett South I kind of need you to wait I don't want you to wait forever though so I'm going to say you're going to wait for like two minutes and then you're going to leave and we'll see how that plays out we'll, we'll see we'll see if that works I'm not not 100% sure about this I don't love the idea of slowing down my money maker but if it makes money going back that is pretty good. It's not going to have a full load of bricks, but it's going to have, hopefully, at least a decent amount for Corpus Christi. And then I guess what we can also do is get ourselves some vehicles for this to start moving them down to Norfolk as well. Again, I don't know if that's necessarily going to work all that well, but we're going to find out together is what we're going to do. So we'll put ourselves a road depot right about there. Seems good. Get ourselves a couple of vehicles. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too fancy. We'll go for these guys since it's exclusively moving the uh, the bricks. Go for three of them in lovely dark green and that line right there. So they can head out. They can do their thing. We did just get a new train unlock as well, which I'm very excited about. We'll have a look at that in just a minute. I want to see more than anything whether... Aha! We are now moving bricks back here. So that's good. That means those bricks should, by all means, get dumped into the train station. Now, whether or not we're moving enough bricks to actually make this work is, is another thing entirely. We might not be moving enough, but at the very least, they should get dropped off. They do go into the station, which is great. And what is the... what's the rate on this line? 117. Okay, 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 okay. 117 is fine. Uh, could be better. It definitely, definitely could be better. Um, what is the rate on you? 151. Okay, so yeah, we'll do 117. We'll see. We'll see how that plays out. That might actually be too high now that I think about it. But we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens there. This might actually be slower now that it does go back through Corpus Christi. But at the very least. It's got 300 more coming down here for the, the oil sand, so we're doing all right in terms of money. We're doing so well in terms of money, actually, that we might be able to do the Kansas City Bridge uh, shortly, which would be huge. We do really need to show Kansas City some love, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. At the very least, I want to see how much this is actually making for 300 uh, oil sand coming in here. I haven't really stopped to look. 13.7 million. And I could make it longer. I could. I absolutely could make it longer. Uh, it's currently loaded up with 14 bricks. Load speed is a little slow because it's a teeny tiny little bit long for the platform. But that's... That's fine. That's that's not the end of the world. We'll just let this thing keep going. It's doing a beautiful job. We get this guy coming in with some bricks as well. 
So this thing will hang out for two minutes and then it'll be out of here to... Ooh, we're having... I wonder if we're having that issue where it doesn't load up properly or if it's just because this was... Huh. I'm a little... I really hope we're not having that issue where it doesn't load up properly. I'll be kind of annoyed if we are, but we'll see what happens, I guess. At the very least, we will have a good amount of bricks waiting around by the time the train gets back. So we'll see what happens here with the, the drop off into Corpus Christi. I'm not expecting much money, but I'm also not going to complain about an extra $693,000. So it's not bad. It's, it's making a little bit on the way back. And that was a relatively light load of bricks. We have currently 57 waiting around here. So if this works out, we're going to be in a pretty good way. We'll have money coming off that train in both directions, obviously more in one direction versus the other. But again, I'm, I'm sort of OK with this. I think that's a good way to, to do things. We have got some of the bricks heading out to, to Norfolk as well. We have a decent amount of them going into Corpus Christi. Getting some tools up here would be good. Getting some tools and fuel into Seattle would be good as well. And honestly, I'm inclined to say that we can probably do that. I'm inclined to say that we could probably get a little road going up into Seattle to, to take some fuel up there. And I mean, we do have the road connections already. So I think Salem also wants... Maybe we should do Salem first. Salem keeps demanding fuel and I keep ignoring it. So maybe... Maybe I should stop ignoring it. Although sending a line straight through High Point would be a choice. I might do it anyway, though. So I'm going to just take out this connection for a second. I know I just built it. But here's here's what I'm thinking. If I take this road right back, that gives us a really nice straight connection into high points. So if I go and get myself a new straight, we're going to run this guy in a beautiful straight line. Just uh, actually, let me take this right back so it has that beautiful slope up to uh, to that road properly. So something like this is kind of what we're looking for. And I'm just going to keep going in a in a straight line over here just as much as I possibly can. I really don't know if I want to carve out the terrain, though. Not going to lie. Really not a fan of doing that unless I absolutely have to. So we'll kind of go up and over that little hill that we had there. We'll carve out that bit because it's fine. And this is sort of where I'm thinking we can just kind of freeform up this way. That's a pretty good connection into, into High Point. And I think at this point what we do is we spend some of the 60 million that we have and we start looking at swapping out this middle road. Now, this is going to be removing buildings as well as moving them. And it is going to be expensive to do this. But this is a pretty major road through this city now. So I think it only makes sense to, to upgrade it to have a few more lanes. And that seems like a like a fair trade off. It's now a very major route through through High Point. And I'm kind of OK with that. We'll take this back as well because I think we can tidy this up quite a bit too. So bring this right back to here. And what way do I want to do this? Now I could, by all means, just go straight through here. And, and looking at it, I'm actually very tempted to do that. So bring this road all the way back. And then we'll just punch this guy straight through it. So it's going to be the medium country road. It's not going to be the same, uh, the same road we've been using. I think we will carve out some terrain here since it is so close to the city i'm starting to care a little bit less about the forests you might have noticed i think we're kind of reaching that era where we need the uh we we kind of just need to punch straight through nature and you know kind of do what we got to do for efficiency's sake so we'll come through here and we'll do this and that's going to be our connection to to salem which is completely fine this can now be pushed back because that sort of goes that way uh, and then what doesn't have a connection? Oh, this guy doesn't have a connection. That's fine. So this we can make work. We'll get ourselves that medium country road. We'll go to somewhere like this, I want to say. That looks relatively good. And we just want to bring it in, uh, bring it in something like that. And it curves over a little bit, but that's fine. So that's, that's pretty good, I think. This guy isn't connected to anything right now. I'm not really too worried about that. And uh, that is a straight shot through to Salem now, which again, I'm completely fine with. So for this guy, I really want to rotate it. 
I'm not gonna lie. I hate that it's not. I hate that it's not uh, not in line with this road. So I am gonna just demolish it for a second, which is gonna mess with my my entire thing. But that's fine. We can replace it. Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna do three platforms on the the right side, and I need it to line up properly this time. So I need it to be right about there is gonna be what I'm looking for. So right about there, I think should be solid. So place it there. This is now all working again, which is fine, but I'm going to go a little bit further and I'm going to say that I want to configure this guy as much as I possibly can because I want to get uh, I want to get a little bit more length on these platforms, but I'm also thinking we're going to do a couple of platforms on the other side just to make sure that if we do kind of go crazy with this layout, we have the space, right? I think that's going to be good. We could also do street access on this side. I'm not really against doing that. I don't know if there's a need to do that, actually, though. Uh, well, maybe there is. We can connect it down here. That might not be a terrible idea. And uh, we can also do some cargo buildings if I really wanted to. I'll do a couple of cargo buildings just there, and that'll be fine. So that'll be a bit of extra cargo storage. That's completely fine. We can let the game run again because we have now gotten rid of all the... Uh, gotten rid of all the problems that we were having. And this can come straight out. And I guess uh, actually what we'll do is have this one come straight out first. So out to about there. This guy's going to come straight out to about there. Bulldoze the access. Bulldoze those parts. And can I get this to be a nice uh, nice little slope? There we go. So that seems pretty solid. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. It's another way, uh, another way into this thing. We've got this blue line kind of using that entrance, which is exactly what I was looking for. So that splits things up kind of nicely. And then what we're going to be doing is bringing some fuel from here into into Salem. So when it comes to Salem, who wants the fuel? These guys down here? Okay. Well, I'm going to give them their own little stop, I think. I might do it on this road, though. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So this will be new line from here going all the way through here over to this place. And we're going to call that uh, road cargo, Salem and it's going to be fuel delivery. So hopefully we're not going to be seeing what color do we want to go for on this? I guess red since it is Salem. Uh, hopefully we're not going to be seeing the fuel go away and hopefully we can get up to six things being demanded for Salem. That's that's kind of the goal here. So we'll see how that plays out. Again, we're kind of looking at a situation where the trucks are going to be running empty on the way back. I don't love that, but it's fine. We'll do five trucks for the time being in bright red and Salem fuel delivery. So we'll let that go. We'll see how it goes. And hopefully we'll see some fuel get onto that line a little bit sooner than later. There we go. It's already happening, which is exactly what we want. Now, do we have any overlapping terminals right now? We do. Let's put you on terminal one, you on terminal two, and you on terminal six. Does that split them up the way I was hoping? It's... Uh, yeah, kind of. It's, uh, this one might actually want to go in Terminal 5. Or maybe I want to do it the other way. Wait, would it make more sense about you in Terminal 1? It actually might. Then, so you will be Terminal 2 and you will be Terminal 6. Yeah, that kind of makes more sense to me. Have these guys come in and turn immediately. I, I like that. So that'll be, that'll be just fine. We also just had this guy. Oh, you have so many bricks on board. I'm very much okay with that. That is absolutely perfect. So hopefully we're now going to see. So how are you looking right now? So your your shipment sucks is what I'm, I'm noticing here. So I wonder if I was to go and duplicate these vehicles and bring this up to like 50 ish, 46 on the uh, the throughput there. And if I was to do the same for Salem, it's 17 right now. If I was to duplicate you guys, 35, we'll do it again. That'll give us 70. That was a little bit more than I was expecting. I keep doing that. One, two, three, four, five. Sell you guys. We only want 15. That'll give us 52. So that's fine. I'm wondering if that now means that your shipment's going to go up a little bit. No, shipment is the delivery into this place, now that I think about it. Transport's the one that brings it out of here. So we'll... We'll see how it goes. Either way, either way, this is this is good. 
We've got the trucks coming over. They're going through High Point. They're well on their way. High Point's probably going to have some problems with the uh, emissions. And the quality of its stations as well kind of sucks. We really should give these guys... Well, they, this city's kind of suffering a little bit. It's got nothing. And we're not delivering anything to it at all. I kind of feel bad. Only kind of, admittedly. I'm not gonna not gonna lie to you, but I, I feel a little bit bad. And so just like that, Salem is starting to get its fuel, which hopefully means that we're gonna be working towards getting the sixth thing that the town the, the town demands. And I'm very much okay with that. Now, what I am thinking is that there's a lot of traffic on these roads here. So we might want to come in and actually look at upgrading this uh this entire section of road before anything builds on it. That way we're not paying too much for it. That also gives us some turning lanes, which is exactly what I was looking for. And that seems pretty solid. Now, I'm also kind of wondering if we should try and do like a ring road that kind of comes down here. So traffic doesn't have to go through Salem to get around Salem. I don't know if we need to do that right now, though. I, I think I think traffic's sort of doing OK, which which is great. Now, speaking of traffic and doing OK, we we should probably talk a little bit about Kansas City. Now, we do have the money to build the mega bridge. We absolutely could do that. I don't know that I'm going to do that, but we absolutely could do that. Um, I think what I'd like to do at the very least is I'd like to go in here. I'd like to manage these vehicles and I'd like to replace them with the Benz tarpaulin truck because we've been neglecting these these lines over here for a while. And at the very least, this will give us a little bit more throughput on, on a lot of what's going on here. Same with these guys. We only have, <laughs> this is, this is only two, only two vehicles. Good Lord. Okay. Uh, replace those as well. And then we also had the fishing one, right? We had, we had these guys. Yeah. So this one has a few more vehicles has six of them. Replace those with the band's tarpaulin truck and that should be fine. Okay. So. I feel like I should do a little bit of rebalancing here. Do I want to do the mega? I I'm going to do the mega bridge. I think it's time. I think we have to. I think reasonably it's it's at that point where we kind of have to. Um, I don't necessarily want to do highways. Do I want to do a large country road across here? I mean, I could. It's still 40. Oh, my God. That's that's horrendous. That is <laughs> that is actually actually diabolical is is what it is oh it's only 21 wait why is that one so much cheaper oh that's so much better it's not even that much more expensive for more lanes how did this happen okay well suddenly despite the fact that it looks as i said diabolical i'm suddenly kind of inclined to build it i'm gonna be honest i i think i think we do it i think we do it i think yeah there we go. We got the mega bridge. It's not quite as mega as I was thinking it was going to be, but I'll allow it. Um, let's, <laughs> I guess, just keep doing what we're doing. Bring a little street kind of through here. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure that I actually have the, uh, the means to build this the way I was hoping to build it. Can I get this guy to just go here? Yeah. So that should be fine. Bring this sort of down to here ish and then connect these guys together does that look okay that looks all right so yeah that gives us a connection straight across there does anything use it yeah immediately it's perfect i don't know who's using it but someone's using it and that's that's what i'm looking for okay you know what we're gonna rebuild all the kansas city lines is what we're gonna do so we're gonna go to here we're gonna keep this pinned we're gonna sort by name and we're going to rebuild all of these. So I need to manage these vehicles. I need to sell all of them. Same with this guy. We're going to manage these vehicles. We're going to sell all of them. And I'm going to look at just sort of improving the layout of some of this space in general, because the roads around Kansas right now kind of suck. So let's get ourselves some medium country roads. We're going to come straight out of here and we are going to get ourselves just a nice big curve that comes down like this. That looks diabolical. So maybe we're not going to do that. Maybe we'll go a little bit further back and do it this way. And again, that looks still a little, still a little rough around the edges. So once the auto save's done up here, we can take out that bit. And does this look better? That looks better. I'll allow that. That's, that's not, not as bad. 
We're also going to upgrade all of this. And... I mean, really, we don't need this. We don't need to go down here anymore. I'm not going to get rid of that bridge because we are using it, but we don't necessarily need it, which is fine. So what way are we going to do this? We have our grain being picked up here. I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to sort of move this. So I'm going to take this road kind of back a little bit. And you know what I've realized? I I mean, I can I this this whole thing can be set up with one line. We can go from here to here, up there, deliver the food, and back. The only issue, of course, is the ratio, once again, because, it, again, it's two of these to one. So maybe... Maybe we don't do that. Maybe we do just have the one line for the grain, and then we go from here with another line up to there and back. That, yeah, I think we'll do it that way. That makes a bit more sense. So, new line from here going to here. And it does cut down past Kansas the way I was hoping it would. So we'll call it road cargo. It's going to be uh, Kansas. And it is grain to alcohol. Which is totally fine. And it's going to be bright yellow the way the lines originally were. And then we want to go from here to here. We then want to make a delivery in the middle of Kansas. And that should be fine. So that's going to be road cargo, uh, Kansas... And I guess it is uh, food. No, wait, it's alcohol. Alcohol. Oh, what? I don't care about this new thing. I need to rename this properly. So it's alcohol. If I can click properly, alcohol to food to delivery is what we'll call it. And that should be fine. And that reasonably should be the only two lines that we need. So this guy can produce up to 300, which means this can produce 150. That might be yeah, that might be wishful thinking, but we'll see what we can do here. So we are only going to be moving grain. We don't have any trucks that can do that specifically. So 10 of these would have a capacity of 70. So we'll start with 10, I guess. We'll paint them bright yellow and we'll put those on the grain to alcohol line. And that immediately gives us what exactly a rate of 59. We're only 59, really? That is so much less than I was expecting. That is that is so much less than I was expecting. I'm a little disappointed in that. I'm going to duplicate it, I guess. I don't want to put 40 vehicles in here. That's the thing. But I I might have to. <laughs> There's a definite chance that I might have to. Um, hmm. I mean, yeah, demand here is 94. So that means 99 is 18. So 184... No, it's a one-to-one, -one, isn't it? Oh, wait a minute. It's a one-to-one. -one. So, I could do these all in one. Am I, hold on, am I, am, I, am I right on that? So two of these to one would mean the trucks are half full. And then we could go and deliver the food. Yeah, we actually probably could do this all as one line. Because they'll be full here, half full from here to there. And then full again as they deliver. Yeah, we could... We could reasonably do this as one line. Um, let's get rid of the one we don't need then, which is this guy. So you can go away. Then this one is just going to be Kansas uh, food production, which is fine. I think. I think I'm right in this. I, I think. I think I'm right here. Um, so after the annex, you want to go here and then you want to come down here and then back. So if we set this up properly, it is going to be loading up on grain and then it's going to be unloading the grain, loading up on alcohol. It is going to be unloading the alcohol and loading up on food and then unloading everything. And that should be fine. Um, let's do a minimum stop time. I don't know if we need a minimum stop time. I do think they should be full from the jump, which they will be, but that's all right. They're not going to be full coming out of here, but we will do a minimum stop of 30 seconds. Maybe 20 seconds. Maybe 10 seconds. We'll do 20. And then up here is going to be maybe 30, maybe 20. We'll do 30 on both, I think, just to make sure that we have some stuff going on there. And we'll see how that plays out. That should reasonably change the rate. Yeah, 79 now. 
But I suppose what we can do at the very least is we can configure the line a little bit to say that you can use all of the platforms because it's now the only line going through here. So hopefully that'll speed things up a little bit. Going to be a lot of vehicles on, on the roads there, but it is just the one line. So if this works, Kansas City has just got a much, much better food uh, situation, which is exactly kind of what I was looking for in the first place. So we'll see how that plays out. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll come back to it. I definitely think having this bridge as stupid as it looks from down here, it's definitely an achievement. And the fact that we're back up to $80 million, having just spent 23 on this bridge, I like to think we're doing pretty well. Oh, of course it does. Corpus Christi now demands fuel. I hate to tell you, you're not going to be getting it. Because I don't think we have, well, we probably do have the capacity to make that work, but I don't know that we should. I don't, I don't know that I want to do that. Uh, we are doing quite well with the whole fuel thing. We have a decent amount coming down into San Francisco. We have a pretty decent amount coming into Salem as well. Salem's doing really well for itself, actually, although it seems like we're having some issues with the various stations around here. So if we have a look at the Salem loop and look at the vehicles, do we have a new bus? We don't. Oh, wait, no. Are we using, what are we using right now? We're using the Mac, but we have the Schneider. It is faster. So I think we'll go ahead and replace those. And then maybe capacity is 45. Uh, you know what? We'll go ahead and put three more buses on that loop and see how things go. We are now above $100 million, which is kind of wild, actually. Really wasn't expecting to get there in 1927, but here we are. Uh, I'm definitely thinking we're going to want to start looking into both passenger trains a little bit sooner than later. And also probably doubling up the number of uh, doubling up the number of tracks that we have for all the trains as well. This is actually doing pretty well for itself. It seems like we're never quite full, which is great. This thing is 168 right now, which is a wild amount of brick to be going to uh, to Corpus Christi. So all in all, I'm actually quite I'm quite pleased with where we are. And as for Kansas, I mean we've kind of sorted out the food situation. It's now getting a really good amount of food. It is aiming for 241 people. It does need fuel, admittedly. It's, uh, it absolutely does need fuel, and I'm really not sure how I'm going to do that yet. Not 100% sure where the Kansas fuel is going to be coming from. We got New York City over here. That's interesting. Okay. We have a little bit of fuel production down here. We have a little bit of uh, oil refining here. We don't have any crude oil nearby, though. At least not by the looks of it. We have a little bit over here. We could just do a big old train line. We have the money now. We could do a huge train line. And I am still so tempted to do that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the, the temptation is still very much there to do a giant train line. Let me let me check something. How are we doing in terms of tools in here? 64, 189 is the, the demand. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go here. This is 68 right now. Oh, do I want to double this? I feel like I should. I feel like we can double this and get away with it. I I feel like we can double it. It would be nice. Oh, it would be really nice to set up my giant train. What if I did my giant train line? What if I just did the giant train line? What if we started up here? We pick up 300 coal. We pick up 300 iron. We move 600 of that down through this valley, put a stop right in here and then bring all that iron up to here and then we'll go all the way back. What if we did that? That's that's that would be. It would be a huge train for one, because the train that we have right now making all the money is carrying 300 and it's longer than the longest default station. So it would be a huge train. But it would arguably, probably, maybe be a better setup than what we have going right now. Alternatively, would it make more sense to run iron and coal up to here and then connect this guy sort of down, down this way? Just bring all that steel. I don't know if I want to. I want to do the long train. I'm going to I'm going to stop faffing around. I want to do the long train. So I think I think we're going to I think we're going to do the long train. I might regret this. This is uh, <laughs> it's a hell of a project, but we're going to give it a shot. And do I want to do the two tracks? I 
I don't know that I do. I don't think we need it. We're just going to do one giant train for now. And uh, we're going to see how that plays out, I think. I really, really might regret this. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's a solid chance I'm going to regret this. There's a really, really strong chance that I'm going to make the, a really dumb decision here. But um, I'm kind of all for it. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm kind of all for it. Let me... Um, oh, man. <laughs> I really, really might regret this. Let me extend this road a little bit out to uh, out to here and let me get myself uh, just a gonna be a giant train station at some point. It's not going to be all that big right now, but eventually it's going to be huge. So we'll go for we'll go for here. And actually, maybe we should configure this thing and just see how far I can go with the uh, with the platforms, because I don't think it's I don't think it's infinite. I don't think you can kind of go forever with these things. There is a finite sort of limit. Yeah, right there. OK, that's not bad. And then cargo buildings. These guys actually hold. Oh, I can. Yeah, I can line this. Oh, I can hold home. I can hold so much cargo. OK, that is that's perfect. We can absolutely do this. So put all of this across here. Give me some cargo buildings. Give me a large side building. This is going to be ridiculous. So this can hold 80 items. This is going to be so ridiculous. I'm just going to do a few of these guys. I'm not going to go too crazy with them. We'll do a, a side building there. And I might do a road down there. To be honest, I think it would look pretty good. But I think at the very least, I'm going to just smooth this out. Because I think it looks kind of terrible right now. Can I just flatten some terrain a little bit and then hit it with a, a smoothing brush? There we go. That's a little bit better. Not perfect, but definitely a little bit better. And we'll just run a... Uh, Run a road down like that. So it looks like it has access. It doesn't it doesn't look great, but it'll do the job. And this thing can hold a lot of cargo. So that's kind of what we're looking for. So that's where we're going to pick up the coal. And then over this way, we're going to need to pick up the the iron. Then we'll cut across with a bridge here. And it's going to come down. I am going to go through this valley. I don't need to go through. The, actually, I might come down this way. That would probably make a lot more sense. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. OK, so we have this first super large platform. We have another super large station right here. We have a tunnel cutting through this mountain, which I think is necessary to make this work, which means that our bridge is more likely going to be down here, which I'm kind of OK with. I'm hoping I can make that work. Uh, I think what I will do, though, is just start by putting my my tracks over here. This can go away. I'll just extend this sort of the entire way over towards the the water and we'll see if we can get away with it. is this what is going on with this i don't want it to sink into the ground that's ooh, it's gonna sink into the ground because that's a really big hill that we're climbing okay that might make things tricky uh what i think we'll do then is we'll get on with our bridge which is gonna be 289 million dollars i i don't think so 130 million for uh, yeah, 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 okay we might need to compromise and find a slightly more narrow span of 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 water uh here for example is uh a lot better a lot better 33 million that i'm willing to build the the other thing there phew, maybe not so this now i guess is gonna have to sort of just cut downhill as as best we possibly can so can I get a nice straight section here? So something a bit like this. And then somehow I need to connect it down to that other part. Now that I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do. If I do if I do this, what does that do? It gives me a tunnel. How much is it? 1.9 million. I I'm actually kind of okay with that. What if I raise it up? Does that come out of a tunnel? No. I'll I'll allow it. That's that's fine. We can smooth this out a little bit. Just make it look a little bit less terrible. And then it just kind of sort of goes into that tunnel. And that's that's fine. Again, going to be a giant train. Absolutely enormous train. Going the entire way down here. And this is now going to sort of push past this hill. Sort of come in this way. And I, I think I'm going to stick with trucks for now. Or am I? Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with trucks for now. I'm going to I'm going to experiment. We're going to keep it simple. We're going to keep KISS in mind. Keep it simple, stupid. And if there's one thing I am, it is simple. Uh, and well, anyway, uh, 
we'll go ahead and put it right about here. And this now needs to be extended as well. Oh, there's a hill right there. Oh. I maybe should have put it on the other side. I'm definitely thinking I should have put it on the other side. Over here would have been more expandable. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll get rid of you. We're going to move it to the other side. And I'm going to have to sort of cut through that entire valley, which is going to be a bit of a pain. But we will make it work. We'll zoom out a little bit. Put this guy right about here. And now we want to configure this and give it as many platforms as I possibly can. Okay, so this gives us our giant train line, which is perfect. We also have an excess of steel waiting here to go be made into tools. So I'm going to duplicate these vehicles because realistically, we're going to need to do that anyway. So this is good. It has a lot of tunnels. I was hoping it would be more visible than it is, but this is, this is fine. It's also... Not exactly behaving the way I was hoping it would. I was hoping I would be able to avoid a few of these sort of nastier curves here, but evidently that's not going to be an option. So somehow I'm going to have to make this work. And at the minute, I really don't want to do that. That is, uh, that is something I would very much like to avoid right there. So maybe what we do is we kind of just admit that this is going to have to slow down quite a bit to make this bend here. And I can lower it ever so slightly to save some money. So we'll do this. And then somehow it's going to need to sort of come back this way. That might just have to be a tunnel. What if I did this? How would this how would this actually work if I just connect these guys together? What does what does this do? If anything, if it's going to it's not going to let me. OK. What if I went from this side to there? Also not going to let me. That's unfortunate. Okay. So this wants to make a tunnel. And I don't want to make a tunnel, but this is a very, very tricky bit of bit of terrain. And honestly, it would have been better if I put this train station at an angle. I would have probably been able to do this so much easier. Or I can just bring it up here and admit that this is not going to connect perfectly. Which really, this isn't a line, this isn't a, this isn't something that's necessarily about the whole speed anyway. So that might make sense to be, to be completely honest. It might make sense to try and just slow this down kind of considerably since it is just designed to be a huge train. It's not supposed to be a super huge fast train. I think we just do this. It slows right down around that corner, but at the very least, it just sort of runs straight into the hill and I'm I'm okay with that. So we'll smooth this out a little bit. We can smooth this out a little bit. That is now our huge train line. Finally, it's actually done. Uh, now what I want to do is I want to get myself a, a, a depot for it, a depot for it, and we'll go from there. So I think the easiest way to do that is going to be probably over here. I think this will kind of be the place for it. So we'll go ahead and build ourselves maybe next to maybe next to this factory is kind of where we can go for a uh, for a train depot, depot, whatever we're calling it. Let's just spin this around nice and easy. Does it get it sort of parallel like that? And then all we need to do is go to tracks, bring this guy sort of straight out of here and bring it straight up to here. And then I want to loop it back in itself. Something kind of like that should be fine. And then from that spot, we want to go and do something kind of like this. And that should be fine as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. And that's basically how the train's going to get out of here onto that track. Oh, boy. This is going to be... This is going to be... It's going to be a mess is what it's going to be. But we're going to give it a shot. So from here to there, going the entire way around to here. And I mean, it works. It definitely works. We're going to call this the, uh, I don't know what we're going to call this. I guess we'll call it an Oklahoma line and it's just going to be, I mean, it's not even an RC. It's supposed to be TC. That's fine. We'll just call it steel in all caps so that we know what line it is. So train cargo, Oklahoma steel, uh, Oklahoma. Do we have any Oklahoma lines? We do. It's light green. Okay. So light green here, we want a full load. You wait and no, we well, uh, full load any, and you wait until you're good. 
And same here. You wait until you're good. At this one, you're going to be loading up on coal. At this one, you're going to be loading up on this. And we're going to say you load up 50% coal. And then this one loads up 100% of the remaining space. And then this one unloads everything. And that should be fine. So this... Oh boy. We have $120 million. That should be enough to get me the train that I want. Whether or not that train is going to be practical is a, another thing entirely. We have this guy. It is a relatively powerful steam locomotive. And I need this thing to be able to haul 600. I could haul more. I could, I could haul more, but I'm going to go with 600 for now. So cargo. Gondola. This thing carries 12. Oh, I'm going to need... I'm going to need so many of these. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, let's bring this up until... Can I get it exactly 300? Yes. I, okay. Let's just go until it says 600 then. So 600 is here. It's mediocre performance. It is a very, very long train. Oh, boy. 41 million dollars. Let's do it. Let's do it. And let's paint it... <laughs> light green? I don't know if I want to do light green. Let's paint it sort of a faded green color or something like that. So it kind of looks... I don't know. We'll, we'll go with that. That'll be fine. Um, and that guy is going to be living on the Oklahoma Steel Line. And I don't know if I've ever built a train this long. I also feel like the audio is bugging out a little bit at that thing. I am a little wary of this. But this is... At the very least, producing coal, which is good. This is producing iron, which is good. So you know what that says to me? That says to me that it's time to get rid of these vehicles. So you guys all go away. And that's fine. Uh, you guys. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, you guys all go away as well. And uh, now this should increase its uh, its production over time it is gonna wait there until it's full as well i might actually this might be a really bad idea <laughs> this might not work but we're gonna we're gonna see what happens this is what we're gonna do we are gonna why is it only got six on board right now there we go there we go seven we're getting somewhere it has to get to 300 before it's gonna move uh ugh. that might be a problem I definitely oh no it's it's getting a little bit faster now there we go what about this one how are we doing down here but yeah we're, we're getting somewhere all right it'll it'll get there what's the what's the stats in this line 248 sure that's that's great we could make this longer if i really wanted to i don't think i want to but we uh <laughs> we definitely definitely could oh and here we go we have 300 coal on board this guy is going to be coming around here. We've already got 300 iron waiting to go. And we have room for plenty more as well. So this thing should fill up pretty quickly. I want to see how much money this makes when it drops everything off. And I mean, look in here, we're up to 40 already. So we we might we might be about to make another... This might be another moneymaker. There's a definite chance this is going to be another moneymaker. And I'm really... I'm really hoping it's going to be. So it's loading up. And away it goes. We got 300 of each. That's 150, 150 steel bars right there. Once it gets down this way, which is very exciting to be, to be quite frank with you. That's very, very exciting. I think I'm actually just going to get rid of those lines that, uh, that don't have any vehicles on them now. So this one can go because we're not going to be using it. This one can go because we're not going to be using it. That does mean that my beautiful... My beautiful, beautiful road that goes through the mountains is now useless. This, uh, this, this road here, the one that goes up the mountain and all that, it's now just pointless. It's completely pointless. A little bit disappointing, but it's fine. This, this right here, this train, this monstrosity that I'm pretty sure is going to be longer than the bridge that it's currently, yep, that's about to be off the bridge and it's still not done getting onto the good lord. Good Lord. That's... I love it. I really do. I absolutely love it. 
I also love the fact that we're sitting with almost 300 there, almost 300 there. So this thing's going to be, we could do two of them. Well, we probably couldn't, but we could make this one longer, which I might do. I might give it a capacity of 900. That might be the way to go. Or 1,200. Maybe we just max it out. We try and do the full 300 production of this thing. That might be... Ooh, I don't know. I'll tell you what is exciting, though. What's exciting is the amount of money this thing's hopefully about to make. We're looking at a grand total of $21.6 million. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. <laughs> that's, um... That's a lot. That's a lot of money. That is that is a lot of money. Wow. I I I mean I was I was expecting a lot. I'll be honest. I, I was both expecting that much and kind of not expecting that much, to be completely honest with you. But that's good. That is a huge amount of uh amount of steel. And then we have this guy. There's 500. Good lord. How much are we sitting on over here? 400 and you know what? I think we could make this thing longer. I think we could do it. I think I think we can make this. Oh, this might be silly. This might be silly, and it would it wouldn't it wouldn't be me to be silly now, would it? Um, <laughs> do I do I double it? Do I make it a 1.2 kilometer train? I think I do. I, I I think I do. We have this guy. It's a diesel. Oh, no, wait a minute. I don't know if I want to put that on the on the train i could put it at the back i could i could put a, how many of those would it take to make this thing not mediocre a lot <laughs> quite a quite a lot actually is the the answer there okay i also accidentally got rid of one of these guys so yeah you know what we're gonna double it we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna oh why am i doing this why am i doing this we're gonna we're gonna double it is what we're gonna do 1.2 kilometers long. Mediocre performance. I could do... I could do another... Another one of these guys at the back. Uh, still mediocre. How many of those would I need to make it? Oh, I would need... <laughs> I would need four of them. 67 million for this. Um, I'd like it to be at the front. I'm not going to lie. I would like it to be at the front, but the amount of times I'm going to have to click to move this to the front of the train is kind of wild. Unless I can shift click to do that. Wait, can I shift click to do that? Is that a thing? Oh, oh all right then. Maybe I just do that. That's $67 million though. I don't think I want to. I think I'll just do, let's do the two at the front and that'll be fine. That's reasonable. $41 million. <laughs> oh man, that's so much money. That is so much money. Uh, <laughs> where is it? There it is. Oh, boy. Oh, man. That's... <laughs> that's, that's... That is actually the longest train I've ever built in uh, in Transport Fever 2. I'm not going to lie. That is legitimately... I've never... I've always wanted to do this. Genuinely always wanted to do this. I've never done it. Because I always thought it would be ridiculous. And it is. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous, and it's it's now going uphill, which is even more ridiculous, but I'm... <laughs> it's in both tunnels. <laughs> That's so good. That is so good. I absolutely love this. It's going to take forever to load that train, but you know what? I'm here for it. We have the 600, uh, we have the 600 iron. We almost have 600 coal. We can totally do this. It might, it might genuinely take forever to load this train with, uh, with goods, but I'm totally here for it. Now, while we're waiting for that train to come back, we did get some new vehicles here. We got the Ford Model 77, which is great. It, however, carries well, only a little bit more than the Benz Tarpaulin truck. Although this one carries a bit more. It's the truck with side stakes, and we are only moving uh, steel here. So I'm going to replace all of these guys, and I'm going to duplicate all of this. And that brings us up to 149. I'm going to grab another five of these guys i'm going to do it again and i'm going to do it again and the reason i want to bring this up to 225 is because we have over 500 on the right coming in here so that will now be enough trucks to reasonably move this around uh in a in a pretty good way uh speaking of speaking of moving things around how uh, where's my train oh it's on its way back 
Wait, where is it going to stop? Wait, what am, wait, it's already, oh, it's already picked everything up. Okay. <laughs> That's slightly terrifying. Um, oh man, <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually a little, um, oh boy. That's, <laughs> that's wild. That is, that is, oh man, I, <laughs> I have a lot of feelings about this right now and they're all good. Every one of them, every one of them's good. I love this. This is like, this is bringing me back to being a kid and playing with like Hornby train sets with my dad. It's, oh, no, that's, 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 that's some memories right there. Good Lord. I was never good with them. I was never really, it wasn't, I, I said playing with them. He would carefully set them up because they were all very old. Like they weren't, they weren't like trains. I think there was one train set that I was bought in the nineties that was mine, but there were like older Hornby train sets were like antiques in the nineties. They were already very old. And so every now and then, like I would set up mine and that would be his excuse to go and bring out his. Uh, and so he'd have this like old antique train set with all this stuff and I'd look at it and I'd be like, I want to, like, can I use the, cause you never really played with them, right? The only thing you could do with them was set it up and then you had like the dial to determine how fast the train would go. Unless you got one of the fancy ones, which I didn't. Um, so I'd be like, oh, can I turn the dial up? And he'd be like, yeah, but you can't turn it up any more than here. And he have like a little bit of tape on the thing. So he wouldn't damage it. Wouldn't, didn't want to draw on it or use like a, a Sharpie. He'd use a little bit of like masking tape to mark how far to go on the dial because he didn't want to burn out the motors and the engines uh, and the trains. And he didn't want to like have the train fly off the tracks and break or hit something. So it was like, oh, you can only go this fast. And then he'd leave the room and I'd go a little bit faster. And it was, it was so good. That's one of my, oh, this is, this is, this is what I like about Transport Fever. It just brings me right back. And what I also like about Transport Fever is $43.2 million worth of, of deliveries right there. That's kind of wild is is what that is that is that is kind of wild are we seeing production we are we should see these guys start to fill up with steel they're not oh that one is there we go there we go now they're starting to fill up a little bit they are going to be waiting here for a minute before they really start moving around anywhere but they will they'll they'll start filling up production here is is ramping up a little bit so we should see some good things come out of this we got all the trucks kind of moving out and doing their thing so that's that's good that is that is progress 43 million dollars 43 million dollars of progress is what that is already over 500 here already over 600 here we're already good to pick up another 43 million dollars worth of of goods and get them down to here so this is this is perfect this is so good <laughs> i'm so i'm so pleased with that i am so so pleased with that I think it's probably about time that we start moving some stuff into Oklahoma City itself, but yeah, I'm I'm so pleased with that. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Um <laughs> let me um what's the rate on you? 138. So 138 per year, which means this guy needs to go up to 138 as well. Uh so let me replace these guys. You're moving tools. So you're going to be moving uh Wait, these both do the same thing. Wait, that's two trucks with side stakes. Interesting. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, replace you. Brings us to 59, 68 rather. Uh, let's just duplicate all of you. And that'll bring us to 136, which is fine. So that'll be a good amount of stuff going in there. Uh, reasonably, we should probably go down the list and replace all of our old trucks. But at the very least, I just want to have a look and see how, how Kansas City's doing now. So it has had some growth. It is getting a really good amount of food, which is perfect. It wants tools as well. Can we make tools? We probably can. We have um, we have plenty of excess planks up here. So we could make some tools here in Garland and bring them over to Kansas City. That's definitely an option. And I'm, I'm not really against doing that. Salem demands... Wait, Salem wasn't taking fuel for a while there? Interesting. I don't know how I feel about that, but fair enough. Do I want to bring tools into Kansas City? I think I do. I don't think I want to do it today, but I absolutely think I do want to do that. So at some point in the near future, we're absolutely going to have to do that. But uh, for now, for now, I think we're all right. I think we've uh, we've managed to hit on something pretty, pretty interesting here. <laughs> this is um, this is ridiculous. This is actually, actually ridiculous. And I'm so on board with it. Like, I, I can't even begin to tell you. I just, 
<laughs> it just fills up so quickly as well. It is ridiculous. It really is. And I, even though it's, you know, it's losing money right now, if we have a look here, sort by balance, you know, 16 million from the oil sand to fuel thing. Uh, we're sitting, you know, negative 12 million here. As long as this thing doesn't get to negative 43 million, it is making money. The running cost throughout the, it has one giant payment per year of $43 million. That's basically how I look at this thing. As long as the rest of the year doesn't cost $43 million to run, it's making me money. So I'm kind of okay with that. I think that's a good way to run things. Anyway, I think this is also a good time to wrap things up because I'm waffling on a little bit and... Oh, I love this. I really do. Anyway, that is going to do us for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.